Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now today we've got some DSBM and atmospheric dark black metal on the channel. I love this stuff, but I realize it's not everyone's cup of tea. You've got to be in the right headspace or have been in the right headspace to really appreciate this music. I didn't really have any time for it. Uh, and then a few years back, I was suffering, not doing too great. Uh, and I heard Dehas, uh, Tear Zeal, There Is No Useless Pain. And man, that's still the most painful uh, agonizing record I've ever heard especially in the vocal uh, and it just connected with me so hard at a time it just kind of you know took the rug from underneath me and I just kind of fell into that music started this band Rotten Monarch made my own DSPM record as well uh, because it just inspired me so hard uh, and and the music just connected with me so hard so when you're in the right headspace for this stuff it can really be a kind of epiphany moment where you just go man this music's super super dope uh whereas you, before you might have not really had much time for it because it's kind of you got to be there to, to kind of feel it anyway We've got three bands to check out today. This first guy made a submission as well, which is why we've got this stuff on the channel today. So thanks to him. This is Greg Filth. It's first time on the show. His track is called Chaotic Evil. So let's give it a spin and check it out. Turn on the vocal.
vocal tone sits perfectly in the mix in my opinion and sits with the guitar super nice. I think it would have been nice to get a few more cymbal changes, move it onto the right. So have a lot of just open eye all the way through, it's quite loud. Drop it onto a tingy ride, just to change the mood, change the atmosphere, give it a bit more dynamic. Cool though, I enjoyed it. I zoned out to this music. I had to catch myself halfway through because my eyes were just blurred and I was just zoning out. I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing the show. <laughs> but yeah, this is a cool one. I think you had a great guitar tone in there, perfect for the kind of music. I thought the vocal sat perfect with that guitar tone as well. Sounded really, really cool. I would use that combination in my own music as well. Sounded great. Uh, the drums had a cool sound to them, but I would have lowered them in slightly in the mix, I think, because it was very drum heavy in the mix especially with that hi-hat sound I would have definitely taken some uh, done a bit of a kind of lowering of the high end on that on that uh, hi-hat because it would kind of just because the guitars were very washy the vocal was very washy and created that atmosphere the drums being quite punchy and having that ksh, 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 the whole way through kind of in my opinion, just overrode that that atmospheric washy sound a bit too much. I would have just lowered the drums slightly in the mix, uh, or given maybe given them a bit more reverb as well as something you can do to just kind of you don't you just don't want the drums to be too punchy over atmospheric washy DSBME sound because it kind of it it it. it it overrides the washiness, you know, it's kind of more up front in the mix than the wash. Um, so you just need to lower it down slightly. But man, those are just tiny nitpicks. I really enjoyed the track, had a great sound. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this guy must be a one man band, Greg Filth. He's only got 21 subscribers. Hopefully we'll get him a few more than that. Uh, but yeah, if he's doing that all himself, super nice job because that's one of the things I like as well about DSBM is one man band DSBM because you really get in that personal, um, you know, it's, it's all their own kind of inspiration and creation uh, and I think that just goes super dope with DSBM it just goes with the vibe of what it all it is anyway I'll shut up for a minute now this is Pale Sky we had them on recently as well we enjoyed their track very very much they've made another one uh, and it goes with this kind of music these are they do put hashtag metalcore on their page here uh, but they're pretty much a, a blackened DSBM -y band from what we've heard so far um, so I don't know if they're just saying that or not but whatever doesn't matter this track's called invisible let's check it out Who's in this kind of music? So I'm saying. Move it on to the road, give us a nice bit of ting, it changes the, the atmosphere, the music.
cool boat. But... because you just got to find some old footage, posterize it, make it black and white, you're done, you're good to go. Suit survived. On him. Dope. These guys had a cool sound as well. <laughs> one of the things I would have done to this one, just because I, I make this music a lot, and I would, you know, I feel I feel a kinship with people who make this kind of music. Is I would have just lowered the vocal slightly in that one to wash it away with the guitars like we got in the first one. So yeah, dope. This is the last band we're going to check out today. I siege Venom. The track is called A Frigid Emptiness. This is from 2021. Atmospheric, depressive black metal, four and a half minutes long. No, nearly five minutes long, sorry. Let's give it a spin. Oh yeah, again, I think this is another one-man band. One-man band DSPM, love it. Crank this one up a little bit more.
started it out again. Right, I just love one man band. What does it have to be one man band? But particularly one man band DSPM. I just zone out to this music. You just kind of go blurry eyed and kind of zone out and just start thinking when you when you're listening to this music, or I do anyway. Uh, yeah, very very nice. I've enjoyed the bands today. Uh, and we haven't had a lot of this stuff on the channel either, which is cool. So thanks very much to Greg Phil for making the submission and getting this stuff off on the channel as well. The thing about this music, particularly for me, is it, it more so than kind of other some other styles of music. This is all about the the expression from the people making the music. You know, they're putting their heart and soul into this music, um, and they they you know they're putting their vulnerability through the music uh, because this music is all about vulnerability when you're at your lowest ebb uh, and, you know and feeling kind of in a terrible headspace or feeling terrible physically or both um, and then it's at that point that this music connects with you and it's not to make you or in my opinion it's not to make you wallow more in the sadness and wallow in the negativity that, you, that you're experiencing at that time it's to kind of comfort you at that time this music can be very comforting it can be uplifting it can kind of just connect with you and feel good at the time when you when you're in, in this kind of headspace you know listening to some deathcore or some really heavy slamming brutal music generally isn't the way to go because that's not the headspace that you're in and it's not going to pull you out of that headspace either it's just going to be annoying uh, but when you listen to this kind of music Sure, it's somber and it's sad and it's depressive music, but that's not necessarily how uh, it, it, kind of, it doesn't make you more depressed and sad and somber. It comforts you at that time when you're feeling those, experience, those feelings. Um, and, it can, and it can, as I say, be more of an uplifting experience because it connects with you and it feels good to listen to at the time. It's, it's more it kind of cradles you at that time, if you like, uh, and helps you through it. it certainly did for me. Uh, and I, I've told Deha, I spoke to him, I said, you know, this album, uh, Tear Zeal, if you don't know his album, Tear Zeal, uh, there is no useless pain. And you like this music, Google it, because it is the most painful, excruciating record to listen to. But man, it just connected with me so hard uh, and inspired me, it made me feel good, it inspired me to make my own uh, DSPM album. And by making that album, it, it, I released so much off my chest and kind of let the feelings and the passion flow through me at that time. And I wrote the, the album in about 10 days, it just flowed out of me. Um, and that can, that's why I just connect with this music so hard now, uh, because when you've had that type of experience, um, it leaves a mark on you and you, you kind of, you've got always got a respect for it after that, super dope. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and if you're feeling rough at this time and this music's getting you through, you know, just keep listening and keep plodding on uh, and, and at some point it starts to get better uh, and you'll be listening back to the death core and the brutal stuff again so hope you've enjoyed it today guys i've enjoyed it very much thanks very much to greg phil for making the submission we'll see you around guys bye